What's up, boys? So today, we got a little bit more of a serious topic. Today, I want to talk to you all about why I don't smoke, why I don't do any recreational drugs, and why I don't drink. I don't do any of that stuff. I never have, and I never will. Now, I've gotten this question, why I don't do it, ever since I was back in middle school, whenever all my friends were doing it, and they were wondering why I wasn't joining along. So I want to answer that question and just kind of give my perspective on it as somebody who, uh, you know, has seen a lot of people go through this. And, um, you know, it's something people always ask me a lot in my stream as well. And I, I think that honestly, I mean, it's definitely, you know, you've got the, the stereotype, okay? You've got the tall, skinny, shaggy white guy with baggy clothes, wearing sweatpants and a video game t-shirt. I mean, honestly, there have been times I've been in college and drug dealers have walked up to me and they're just like completely casual. They're like, all right, what do you need, man? Like just straight up. And I, every time I tell them that, like, you know, I'm not interested, I think sometimes they've gotten mad at me because they, they, they're like, I've, they've, I've like tricked them or something like that. Like I follow every single fucking paradigm of like, you know, the traditional drug guy. Right. And somehow I, I don't do it. And I don't really know if that's a good thing or not, but regardless, um, I've been approached by a lot of drug dealers and I've had a lot of friends that do drugs and, uh, and drink and et cetera. And, um, ever throughout my life, people have always asked me why I don't do it. And, uh, at the very early stages, right back in middle school, whenever I first had some of my friends drinking and, uh, smoking weed, maybe doing a little bit, a few other drugs too, but mostly just like, you know, the casual middle school, you know, early high school stuff. Uh, why I didn't do it then, pretty fucking simple. Um, I could spend $30 on weed, or I could spend $30 on a video game. And honestly, there were some pretty fucking weird, trippy video games back on the GameCube that make you feel like you're doing drugs anyway. So I, I've, I'm going to pick the fucking video game. Like, you do drugs for two hours. I've got that video. I have still have the fucking video game. That was 20 years ago. So, uh, you know, it seemed like an easy decision for me right then. And uh, ultimately, it came down to, like, I just couldn't afford drugs. Like, whenever I was a little kid, this might sound kind of crazy, but whenever I was a little kid, I always expected that I would grow up and be a drug addict. Because, you know, watch the streams, or not streams, uh, watch, uh, you know, uh, movies and stuff. And, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, that'd probably be me. You know, I'm kind of like a crazy guy. And these crazy guys doing these drugs, yeah, I could do that. And then I got older and I realized that they were expensive and I changed my mind. And I think it's just that simple. It's a lot of fucking money to, to be a drug addict, especially if you're doing anything more than weed. Uh, like cocaine is really expensive. Anyway, uh, point is that uh, the money that I would have to spend on it was definitely a huge deterrent. Now, um, obviously, I'm a streamer, right? So I'm able to afford it now. Why do I not do it now? Well, it's simple. And the process of not being able to afford it, I was able to watch all my friends who could afford it go through drugs and then go through rehab and then get out of rehab, then get back into drugs and go to jail, then get out of jail, then get back into drugs and then sometimes die. So, you know, you see that happen a couple of times and you think to yourself, ah, you know what, maybe this isn't a good idea. Now, I want to make sure that you guys understand something. I do not live the healthiest life. I live like an animal. I, I have always lived like an animal. I do not treat my body like a temple. I treat it like a zoo. And I've always done things like this. Um, but there are certain things and certain risks that I'm willing to take and others that I am not. I figure that, you know what? Yeah, I've got a pretty bad diet. I drink a lot of soda, which caffeine is technically a drug too. Um, I know that there are a lot of people that get defensive whenever I make a video like this, and they'll they'll bring that up. Don't worry, I'm fully aware. Um, uh, other than that, though, it's not really something I like to get into. Anyway, the point is that uh, I, I do some unhealthy things as well. Um, let, let's keep that to as much of a minimum as possible. And that's always been the way that I've looked at it. So I'm kind of like, it's almost like in a video game where you have a certain amount of like talent points. And it's like, I have this many talent points that I can spend on indulgences. And I just feel like I don't have enough talent points to do drugs as well. So, uh, you know, you've got fast food all the time. You've got sodas all the time. You've got, you know, that kind of shit. And, you know, staying up all night. Uh, you know, I don't have any more talent points left over to do drugs or drink. And on top of that, I've got the whole family situation. Now, um, my dad used to drink, uh, drank for like, you know, 
Uh, he's like 74, uh, something like that. He's really old. And um, he uh, probably has drank for about 70 years and um, has to take a break recently because his stomach can't handle it or something. Which, I mean, uh, imagine, it's like for me, if I couldn't drink soda anymore, I would be fucking pissed. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's pissed off about it too. But he used to drink all the time and we've had a number of alcoholics in the family and you know, I asked my dad, I'm like, oh, what happened to, uh, what happened to grandpa and, oh, alcohol poisoning, okay, what happened to, you know, your great uncle, whoever, oh, that liver failure, hmm, starting to see a pattern here. Then I talk to my mom, and she tells me the same thing. So I've got people on both sides of my family that have had substance abuse problems that have died of them. So I'm, I'm getting hit coming and going. I don't have any, any chances to be uh, slipping up here. And I don't want to take any risks, and I think that's a big reason. Uh, and there's a lot of people out there. Uh, whenever I make a video like this, I talk about this even. Uh, people are very defensive. I think there's a lot of guys out there who uh, they drink uh, recreationally, uh, drink with their friends on the weekend. Maybe they smoke weed, and uh, they think that, you know, they don't want to, they feel persecuted, which, you know, uh, in many places in the U.S., you are. So um, I, I want to make sure you guys understand, like, this video is not about you. Like, uh, smoking weed with your friends, having a good time, like, drinking with your friends, that's totally fucking fine. And the only time I have a problem with it is if you get in a car, okay? Other than that, everything's totally fucking chill. And I, I do want to say, though, I've never met a single person whose life has been made better by heroin. It's just a fact. Same with cocaine. I've never met a person whose life has been... Uh, cocaine or one of these hard drugs has been or methamphetamine. I, I've never met a single person who that drug has been a net positive on their life. Um, and I, I definitely hope that people who are younger take that seriously. I, um, I, I absolutely do not support that at all. And uh, I also don't, I also do, however, support people who are addicted. I, um, getting addicted to something really sucks. And, uh, I, I, I mean, like you could say I'm addicted to like caffeine or like soda or whatever, but I've taken breaks from that for a while. There are like mild withdrawal syndromes, but I mean, being addicted to caffeine, you get a headache for a while and then, you know, you're able to wean yourself off of it. It's one thing. And then, you know, if you just quit cold turkey on alcohol, sometimes for some people they die. So, uh, it's a completely different universe, a completely different level of addiction. And, um, I, I, if you're, if you've got that problem, uh, you've got my support entirely. And I think that's a terrible position to be in. And while it may be obviously a, a misjudgment on your part for probably starting to put yourself in this situation, uh, I, I still have every bit of support for people who are in it. Uh, it really fucking sucks. And as I said, I've seen a lot of real, real good friends of mine, uh, get put in terrible situations for that. And I think that's one of the big reasons why I've, I've never really been supportive of it. Uh, of, of doing it at least is that I've seen what it's done to people that are close to me that I care about and I've seen the negative effects that it has. So um, my advice for a lot of you guys who are younger especially, um, do, like whenever all of your friends are doing it and then you're not doing it, it feels really, really bad. And I know that I felt this way a lot whenever I was younger and it was always something that took me years to get over this. And uh, you know, every once in a while, you know, I do kind of feel like an outsider for, you know, not partaking in different things, but I I'm glad that I don't do it. I, I always am. And um, I think really one thing to keep in mind is, especially if you've been in, in my position before, um, you know, you think, you know, your, your friends will tell you all these, you know, really cool stories about how whenever they got drunk, but whenever you hang out with your friends and you're the only one who's sober, the stories aren't actually really as cool as what they say. Uh, usually it's just your friends acting like drunk assholes. And that's what I've experienced many, many, many times before. So whenever I see, uh, I see people telling those stories, I think of, I think of that as well. Um, usually I just don't think, I, I don't know, man, like I'm trying to think of a way to put it, but it's just never really been something that I've, I, I've really thought was super cool, I guess. And I think whenever you're younger, you get put in a situation where, you feel like you have to do it. And I think that if it's like, you know, smoking weed or uh, drinking alcohol, uh, unless you're like in middle school or something like that, it's not the end of the world if you partake a little bit. Uh, I think that's generally okay. 
um, at least to try it out to see if you don't like it or if you do. I think the problem really, you know, of course, you know, people drink in moderation, people smoke in moderation. Uh, these types of things I think are, are fine. Um, the problem is whenever it goes beyond moderation and it becomes uh, an addiction. And uh, if you're doing that, I think it's completely fine, though. So uh, my best advice is to try to um, try to have something that you can do on your own that makes you fulfilled. Because I think that for a lot of people, they have like a friend group of people that do that. And because they don't do that, they feel like they're not part of the friend group. And I think that the best, uh, I guess, like force against that is just having a strong uh, personal sense of self-worth and also having a strong sense of identity. And as long as you have that, I think that it's a much easier for you to not feel uh, like an outsider because you're not doing it or not feel that you're, you know, the odd guy out for not doing it. And I think also as you get older, uh, the coolness of, of those kinds of things definitely diminishes. I think that like, for example, uh, drinking is like really, really, really cool. And then really by the time you hit 21, it already goes down. And, you know, the amount of people that I knew that thought it was really cool that they would go out and drink at 25, uh, much smaller crowd than whenever we were 19. Okay. And, uh, now that we're older, uh, it, it's even smaller. People do it, you know, for occasions, but it's nothing that people really get like psyched up about. And um, I think that it's definitely something that gets a lot easier whenever you get older. But, uh, you know, as an older teen and like a younger adult, like in your 20s, uh, your younger 20s, uh, it's really hard and um, fucking sucks. Like, I, you know, I, I've tried alcohol before. I've, I've tried to smoke weed before myself and um, I can never really get into it and really enjoy it as much. And so I consider myself lucky. And uh, it, it's kind of ironic how growing up poor ended up being a positive in this way for me because I could never afford the drugs. And by the time I could, I didn't want to do them anyway. So, uh, you know, if I had grown up in a different situation where I could have afforded them, I could be a completely different person now based off of my family history is a good, good chance I could be. And, uh, I, I think that, you know, people will always criticize and say like, Oh, you're afraid to do them. Yes. Very, very afraid. Um, uh, I, I very much am. I, uh, one time I took a hydrocodone and this was for, I, I had some teeth pulled out and I remember my, uh, uh, I was like writing something and I remember I started feeling weird and I remember like my sight started going away. Like I couldn't feel my fingers and like my toes. I couldn't feel any of that. And like, I was like getting like really cold and really hot. And I remember I was just like crying and like screaming almost. And my mom, you know, my mom grew up in the 60s, okay? So she was sitting next to me on the internet watching a YouTube video. And I think the best thing that she did was just, uh, I think she turned the sound down on the video and, uh, you know, put her hand on my shoulders like, it's, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> but, you know, she she wasn't really too stressed out about me having, I looked it up, I, I think it was an overdose, I have no idea. Um, and I remember like just thinking, I was like, damn, I, I hope I don't fucking die here. This is going to suck. And, uh, you know, it scared the shit out of me. And, um, I'm very, very, uh, afraid of doing that kind of stuff. Probably, uh, too, uh, too much, but, uh, regardless, it's something that I'm, I'm very hesitant about. And I, I would absolutely recommend other people don't, uh, don't get into recreational drugs beyond like weed or, uh, or, or, you know, drinking alcohol or something. I, I definitely don't think that it's a good idea. And, um, you know, I, I do, I, I do my own bad stuff. I, I never really, nobody should live the way that I do. I'll say that right now. Nobody should live the way that I do. Um, but you know, that, that's what I do. And, uh, anyway, I just wanted to make this video and kind of answer the question and kind of talk about it a little bit more of like an open way of just kind of why I, I don't do recreational drugs or why I don't really drink and why I never have and why I never really ever plan to either. Um, you know, would it be the end of the world for me to take a, a sip of alcohol or, you know, drink champagne at a party? No, it's, it's not a big deal to me, but, um, I'd never do it on my own, but if everybody really wanted me to do it, eh, you know, maybe I have a glass. It's not a, 
not a big deal, right? It's not something that I'm like deathly afraid of or anything. It's just not something I like doing. It's not something I'm interested in. And uh, it's not something that I want to spend my time doing. And I think that's really all it comes down to. And I think that having that perspective is the healthiest perspective to have in a situation like this and with something like this. And uh, as I said, it, it's really hard growing up dealing with it, especially whenever all of your friends are doing it. And uh, I think that's the biggest struggle. And um, later on, whenever you get older, obviously, like personal trauma, things like that might make you want to do it, too. I've kind of been in situations like that, but I've just kind of solved the problem differently. Um, overall, uh, it fucking sucks. And uh, if you're in that situation, you have my full support. And uh, I was in that situation for years. And uh, it will get better, I guarantee it. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much why I don't drink, do drugs, or do any of that other kind of shit. But I do plenty of other stupid shit, too. So pick your poison. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you. So until next time, boys, peace.